hey what's up good people hope you are good and uh, your day is just great yeah it's a girl again with another interesting video you can't miss out on this one here we go of late there have been so many cases of the houses we are staying in previously you've seen people being killed in these houses that you are staying in of maybe people throwing themselves down from the houses people being killed inside the houses we are staying in recently about the embakasi gas explosion people dying and so many things happening yeah then this thing has really been disturbing me because i'm sure like almost 99 percent or let me say 95 percent we are living like in rentals or in people's houses and we we're not there when these houses were being constructed we don't know which altars these people went to do sacrifices for their houses to be built you know building a house isn't a joke is a big thing we don't know when these people are taking their offerings when they are building those houses and many things yeah so just a quick eye opener for us if you're there and you want to move into any house or maybe that house that you're inside learn to be praying for the house that you're staying in and covering that house by the blood of Jesus and speaking the power of God upon that house that you're staying in. Eh? Binding powers of darkness that have been operating in that house. Speaking over the atmosphere that surrounds your house and that building. Speaking over the air you're breathing in that surrounding. Let me tell you, you can move into certain houses and stagnate forever. Let me tell you, you can move into certain houses and you can never find peace at all in that house. The house you're staying in is like your home. It's a place where you need to be having that peace of mind. You know, when you're coming from work or you're from hustle and you are very tired and you just want a place to go, go relax and chill and everything is fine. That is a home we're praying for. Anyway, you go and stay and feel at peace. Unfortunately, some houses you go, stay in, and maybe at night is when they are God start doing their things. You are in a house, but you hear things moving around in that house at night. Things moving over the roof at night. And you're wondering what are these things which happen. And you know, maybe these people, when they're building their houses, they they were they had their own gods, the small G's, yeah? Which they were giving offerings as they're building like, like that. Some people, I'm not saying all of the people, yeah? But... I'm very sure there is a percentage of these houses which are not just being okay. Maybe even people who are staying there, they were suffering from certain things. Or maybe you go in and move into a house whereby someone killed himself inside that house, and you're going to stay there. Let me tell you the spirit of that person still just hovering in that room. If you can't pray for that house and cover that house by the blood of Jesus, you will be struggling living inside that house. Yeah, you can even get into certain houses and even struggle pay the rent of that house it's because maybe the previous person who was there was struggling also to pay rent of that house. Yeah, so it is good before moving into any houses to cover those houses by the blood of Jesus to speak upon those houses and just ask God to protect you in those houses that are staying. I just speaking over that atmosphere that you're staying in, God to cover it by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Let me tell you the powers of darkness hover around in the in the atmosphere. You know, these are the intent and the devil is tricky. It's also just all over. He's just wandering over the earth. So just trying to find anyone whom they can devour and also just to mess up with them. Yeah. So even in those environments you're staying in and living, it's good to be praying for that environment and covering your house by the blood of Jesus issue to do with gas explosion that kitchen do you go to, and speak over your kitchen yeah i'm telling you i just want to challenge you from today speak over your kitchen let there be no accidents coming from your kitchen i don't know the gas maybe exploded or what happened speak over the kitchen and covered by the blood of jesus that bedroom of yours you don't know people were sleeping there maybe they were doing a lot of immoralities and their spirit just over, the spirit of immorality is just hovering that house so you go there, still the same thing can happen in your life. And you wonder, how comes my life nowadays just like, I don't know what is happening with me. So I'm here to challenge you. Before moving into these houses, pray over these houses. Anoint them. 
sanctify them by the, and cover them by the blood of Jesus. And if you're already in them, why can't you start speaking something over these houses and covering them by the blood of Jesus and calling upon the power of God to protect you and cover you by the blood of Jesus. Hey, I'm also speaking about the houses, the building that we are working from. You know, you're going to work that building is a maybe eight floors, seven floors. You don't know anything that can happen. Every time when you get in that building, Learn to speak the blood of Jesus upon that building and cover it by the blood of Jesus. Let me tell you, prayers can prevent satanic powers of darkness that were to prevail over your life or over a certain area. Prayers can prevent those things from happening. I'm just speaking the blood of Jesus. Your workplace, do you take some time and pray for your workplaces and cover your workplaces by the blood of Jesus so that the, in case there are any forms of accident that come up, God prevents them from happening, yeah? Learn to pray over even the places we are working from and just covering them by the blood of Jesus and speaking the power of God upon these places that we are working from, yeah? Go to protect them, go to cover them by the blood of Jesus. More so your house. Speak something up for your house. Go to cover it. Go to protect it by the blood of Jesus. Go to be your portion in that house. Go to provide if you move into a certain house, you just lack. You, you're just having a spirit of lacking. You're lacking, you're lacking. Even food. Speak into that kitchen and tell God to provide for you in that kitchen food for you to be eating. And go to make way. Go to do marvelous things, yeah? And speak over that atmosphere that you are staying in. God. To be there with you people and hear your breathing also, yeah? God to protect you. God to cover you. And God to surround you by his blood. And I'm finishing by telling you this. The book of Psalms. 27, the Bible say, if the Lord doesn't watch over a city, the watchmen stay awake in vain. If the Lord doesn't watch over your house, even if you can put a thousand watchmen to be there, nothing can happen. So I'm telling you, learn to include God. Learn to tell God. Tell him to watch over your house. Watch over your environment that you're in. And he will do it. Speak the word of God into the places where you are staying and cover it by the blood of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching this video and i'm encouraging us to be praying for our houses and covering them by the blood of jesus for god's protection and everything in our families may the peace of the lord be with you and may god comfort so much the people who are affected in the embakasi gas explosion god be with their families go to cover them by the blood of jesus christ yeah Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. And remember, subscribe. Cheers. Bye.